Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Barclays Bank and four ways that you can close your Barclays Bank account. So first, what might be some reasons that you'd want to close your account? Well, there could be many reasons. Some of these could include fees that the bank is charging are too high, they require a certain minimum balance, or you've simply moved to a new part of the country where the bank is no longer available to you. Whatever the reason is for wanting to close your Barclays Bank account, I'm going to walk you through the different ways that you can do that. Before we get started, you will need to make certain of a few things. First, make sure that all the funds are taken out of the account and that there's a zero balance. Next, make sure that no automatic payments are scheduled to come out of this account. And then lastly, if you have any direct deposits, make sure that they're no longer set to be deposited into this account. Once all of these are taken care of, you're ready to close your account. For a couple of the options, you will need to access the Barclays Bank website. As you can see, I'm already on this website. I'll be using Safari, but you can use any browser that you'd like. And you can see the URL at the top of the screen, banking.barclaysus.com. So the first way to close your account is going to be by calling the bank and closing your account over the phone. Now this isn't always the most straightforward phone number to find, but you can usually find it with a little bit of searching on the website. The easiest phone number to find is going to be the customer service number that's on the back of your debit card. So you can go ahead and call that number and if the person that you reach ends up not being the right person to help you close your account, they should then be able to transfer you to the correct department from there. When you call, they may require verification in writing before they will actually close your account, but closing it over the phone is usually an option. The second way that you can close your account is by mailing Barclays Bank a letter. Now this option is actually the least recommended one because when you mail the letter, you won't know for certain if it's going to the correct department. This is also the slowest and most inefficient option. However, it is still an option if you prefer it, and if you choose to do this option, you can usually find the mailing address on the Barclays Bank website. But another reason it's not recommended is that mailing address can sometimes be a little difficult to find. So if you're having some trouble finding it, you can also try doing a Google search to find the mailing address. And if you happen to know of another way to find this address, please let me know in the comments. The third way to close your account is by stopping by an actual branch and doing it in person. Now Barclays, I did say four ways at the beginning of this video, but Barclays Bank doesn't actually have locations within the U.S. It is a, an online only bank account in, here in the U.S. So this actually is not going to be an option. There will actually only be three. So the third way that you can actually close your account is going to be by logging in to your online banking account. Once you're logged in, you can look for the option to close your account. Now to log in, you're going to click on the login button which is located at the top towards the right of the main menu or of the main screen. So you'll click on that and then that'll take you to a page where you should be able to enter in your credentials. And here it is, you can enter your user ID, your password, and then just click log in. Once you're logged, so you'll go ahead and look for the option to close your account. Sometimes this means just sending an email to Barclays or it could be filling out an online form. So those are the four ways that you can close your Barclays bank account. If you happen to know of a different way to close a bank account at Barclays, be sure to leave a comment and let us know. And if you're looking for a new bank, be sure to check out the video description for more information on banking.